Welcome to the Cucina Chronicles. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Roseanne. Today we're going to be cooking one of our favorite meals, Siniga. Beef Siniga. Where should I be today? There's a lot of different meat options. There's like fish Siniga, shrimp Siniga, pork Siniga. Is chicken Siniga the thing? Mm, that's not a thing. Anyway, let's go over what you'll need. Obviously, the beef. We're using beef check about three pounds. 3.37 3 pounds. Um, that's what it's said. We like to eat a lot. <laughs> We're also gonna be using an onion, spinach, okra, tomatoes, lemon, potatoes, green beans. We're gonna be using our cheat packets. Mama Sitas. And we're gonna be using two of those because we like it pretty sour. Mm. It's almost like we're related. We <laughs> are best friends. <laughs> Stephanie is gonna prep the first things that needs to go in there, which is the onions, the tomatoes. We're also gonna put the lemon in. So we're gonna cook this in two parts. We are going to cook the beef with all of the aromatics, like flavor, flavor. flavor. ingredients, flavor for 40 minutes. And we're gonna be using the instant pot, which is not how we grew up eating <laughs> No. It was cooked on the stove for like over an hour. Yeah, so over an hour. It made the beef really tender. Mm -hmm. But we're using an Instant Pot and it's gonna be under an hour. Oh well. It's instant. Kind of. I don't know. Anyway, I already began cutting the meat. Meat? Meat? <laughs> meat. <laughs> it was bloody. But I cut it in half because it's much easier to slice them into the chunks that Seth mentioned earlier. So I'm going to continue doing that. Don't forget to compost. Ooh, this is going to be yummy. Even cutting this. <laughs> oh my god. This is good. This is a good chunk. This might be too big, but this is a good chunk. Oh, that's good. Is it, mm, see, a good chunk. So it is almost 5 o'clock. We tried to start Ooh. filming this Ooh. at 3 o'clock. <laughs> God <laughs> my hair, I'm sorry. It got on my lip. So, Rosanna is looking real cute today. Look at her hair. Thank you, thanks Steph. Since we are filming my favorite meal, I had to look extra cute for my favorite meal. Since I ain't going nowhere anyway, so I might as well do it for the meal. COVID life. This is also my son's favorite meal. Top five. Yeah. He this will is... like inhale this. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the onions in. That wow. looks like a checkbook. <laughs> what is that? It's, I don't know. Oh, it's plastic. All right, girl. Favorite thing. This is ready. That looks good. Yeah, just put it in there. Okay. Ew. <laughs> it's just dropping your beef. <laughs> so we got the onions in and the beef is going in now. I just picked these tomatoes from the backyard. Uh... And I walked into a spider web. She sure is. is really scary. She was screaming. Stephanie's the brave one. Out of the two of us, the brave one. She about broke my dang bone when I was trying to kill a spider in her room. And then Aiden like grabbed my neck. Mm. I never did that. <laughs> Sometimes, okay, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the times. When I'm making this meal, I will just buy canned tomatoes. <laughs> what? Yeah, because I'm so lazy. I don't want to, I don't like chopping tomatoes. This, these small ones will be hot. Yeah, because like they're, they're already really tiny, so it melts. Melt. Melt. I don't think that's the verb. That's not the What's right the word. verb? Because. <laughs> so it does what? Comment below. <laughs> Calm is like smaller. Cooks down. Cooks down. Softer. It becomes softer. My mom in Tagalog says, Malambot para lumambot. Para lumambot. That verbatim it translates to for to get soft. In order for it to get softer. So that's not melt. So is the verb. It's not melt. <laughs> Soften. Soften. Anyway, it's gonna be, it's gonna be la mambo. <laughs> The one blood. <laughs> Y'all know I can't speak Tagalog, so I try. I try though. You do. You do. You do try. Okay, so tomatoes going in now. Rough chopped, so they can soften. 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 Para the mambo. Para the mambo. Para the mambo. Interesting. We're gonna use the tool. All right, let's make the packets for some. Um, 
cultural education here. Her name is Teresita Mamacita Reyes. This is Tamarind. Tamarind. Sampalo? That's what it is? What's that? Tamarind. I don't know. Look it up. All right, lemons in. Woo! All right. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, sinigang mix. Yeah. Cheat mix. Sinigang sampalo. Woo! It's the uh, tamarind powder. Oh, yeah. I'm inhaling it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm, that stuff is going to be so good. Yeah. That's ready. Okay, and then we just cover it, barely cover it with water. So how much? Barely cover the meat. Mm, Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, like barely cover. I don't know, let's calculate. Okay. That means to barely cover. But not too much. It shouldn't be way too much. Because then you're going to have too much sabao. Yeah, not enough meat. This is about two cups right here. Mm, it needs more. More? Yeah. Another one. And another one. So this is about how much water you want, just like barely covering it. So for us, it was about three cups. Um, so I like to click um, the meat option, but I'm going to put it for, what do you think, 35, 40 minutes? Do 40. Okay, we're going to do 40 because we like it, La Mambo. The mambo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New mambo. Set it to ceiling up at the top. It's gonna come to pressure in about 15 minutes or so. And while that is happening, we're going to chop the rest of the vegetables that we're gonna put in at the very end so that they don't get too soggy. Tulu <laughs> mambo. This actually goes in at the very very end. All right. This is the okra. We just take off the heads or the top. I'm gonna buy it for the head. It might not be the head. But okay, so the top right here. So we're just gonna chop all of them. How small do you want the potatoes? Medium. What's the medium? medium? Uh, show me, show, show me what you're doing. You mean like three quarter inch cube? <laughs> mm, yeah. Medium me. Medium me. What's a medium me? <laughs> You know, like this. <laughs> what was that? Was that a song? No, I just make noises <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so I'm gonna cook rice. All right. And I'm just gonna cook it on the stove. This because is... young girl broke her rice cooker, I dropped it. The instant pot does it all. <laughs> I know, but I broke it before the instant. Yes, that's why we got the Instant Pot. <laughs> oh, you got the Instant Pot because she broke the rice cooker? I broke, I dropped it, and it stopped working. How did you drop it? I let go of it. <laughs> How? But it's like big. Oh, I have a small rice cooker. Maybe like six cups. I put it underneath the counter. And so when I went to take it out, I just you like, dropped, dropped it. it, and it stopped working. Which is how I got the Instant Pot. Pot. Lesson learned. Break your rice cookers. Because you can put a lot of things in the Instant Pot. To include cooking rice. And sinigang. And hard boiled eggs. I think I use the most for hard, hard boiled eggs. That's yummy. So all the prep work is done. We're going to let it come to pressure in about 40 minutes. So we'll be back. We are back. We have like a minute left before this is done. I'm gonna do the manual release. There it is. So excited. Ready? Don't burn my hand. Oh my gosh, that it smells so good. Yeah. How long am I gonna do that for? So the pressure's gone. Mm, this might be a while. Oh, wow. Well, 
we do one step. Oh no. I oh it no. Okay, we're gonna put the ooh, okra. Okra in. I don't wanna burn my hands. I'm gonna do this really carefully. Steph is now putting in the potatoes. This is a healthy meal. This is healthy? You know, with the vegetables. Well, my mom always fed this to me, especially when I was well, sick. You're sick. Right. Exactly. That's right. yeah. This is a uh, comfort food. Mm -hmm. What is classified as a comfort food? I guess something that warms your soul. Yes, mm, that's a perfect description. Warms my soul. All right, green beans in about half of the pack. I just bought a bag of frozen green beans. Did your parents use fresh? Fresh. My parents use fresh. Okay, we're taking a shortcut. The sabao is the broth. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Okay. Mm. Just to soften them. Okay, let's just do fresh. Five minutes. See? Boom. Five minutes for the vegetables. Oh. Set to ceiling. And we'll be right back. All right. Okay guys, we're back. It's about to be done. I am going to manually release the pressure when this beeps. What is moving? Mama moved it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. My dog uh, kicked the uh, tripod. It beeped. So we're gonna manually release the pressure now. <laughs> It'll be another five minutes. Wow. Look at that meat. meat. Mm. I know this looks like a lot, but it's going to cook down. Cook it up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. 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 I don't pressurize it. I just put it in this really, really, really hot broth and it will soften you know just do it like that we are you know plating our food getting the rice ready i'm letting that soften yeah we'll be right back with everything plated and ready to go so it's been a couple minutes i'm just going to show you guys what this finish looks like and wow it's so pretty it's so bright green it is time to eat all right here's first taste mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sour. That is a good sour. See, see, it's a good sour. Oh, look at all these veggies. All right, I have patis, which is translates to fish sauce. We call it patis. I also put lemon in my patis. It's very salty. Mmm. Mmm. What? Mmm. What? Mm. <laughs> Mm. Ah, it's so good. We did really well. <laughs> I really like the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Me too. God, the spinach looks green, green, like green, green. It's so soft too, the meat. It's really super tender. tender. Mm -hmm. It's just like falling apart when I poke at it. <laughs> mm. Girl, I told you, it's good. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh my God. Are you eating with just a spoon? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, the, the spinach is really good. Because you can still taste the spinach. Yeah. As oh. opposed to if it was mm -hmm. Off camera, we went over the other option for spinach. Kangkong? Yeah. My mom and Roseanne's mom, instead of using spinach, they use kangkong, which is like a... I don't yeah. know what it is in English. Look it up. Mm, a sour. But I'm not like... Mm. My dad doesn't like it to be that sour because he's like, there's too much salt. Really? You know, like that spicy? He does. I do not. I accidentally made spicy sinigang. What'd you put in it? The spicy packet. And I oh. didn't know it was spicy. I love eating spinach. Mm. Where did all the spinach go? I don't know. In my belly. I'm lang bot lang baka. Dang, you sound like auntie. Baka? 
I accidentally just ate one of the new potatoes I just got out of there. I'm getting hot. Bro, I told you I'm sweating. Put this like a drink. Yo, you eat fast. Yeah. Do you breathe? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! I'm so wet. Bro, I have to put ice in my water. And you know I don't do that. Oh. Tastes like home. Mm -hmm. On the east coast. It sure does. I didn't put patis in my sinny dog. Only my plate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do you want with patis? Are you done? Not with the patis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> And that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed cooking with us in our cucina. Comment below for any future suggestions you may have for us in other videos.